what is happening y'all welcome on back so we got two different dlcs to go to um honestly i think i might go do the drag keep first i know it's harder but um well mm, i don't know this is hard on one hand i really want to go do the final dlc because i like it more but on the other i feel like since i don't like Ariandel as much. Maybe I should get it out of the way first, so I really enjoy how this series finishes. It's a hard choice. It's it's a very hard choice. Let's just go to the the frozen butthole. We'll check it out. Come on. Why are you bending over like you're looking for some dick? I've seen many a butt in the air, and that pose means one thing, Gail. We both know that. Now, let's see how Ariandel has changed. See lots of fire trees still. I don't know, I just never really liked Ariandel that much. My, I'm not the only one, right? You guys feel the same? I feel like the other DLC was badass, you know? You had... So the demon fight, super, super intense, that encounter. Um, and then after that, you got the whole Half-Life encounter. Half-Light, whatever his name was, that was cool. Seeing them make a return to invasion base encounters. You got Madeir, who is... I mean, everyone knows Madeir. Madeir is just badass. This massive fucking dragon. And then as if all that's not enough, you got Gale. Which is one of the only bosses I would consider on par with the Nameless King. In terms of just how cinematic and crazy that fight is. You know, good, good fights. Um, and then by comparison... This DLC, what do you got? You got a thing where you're fighting some dude and his pet dog. That's that's not, you know, it's, it's hard to even consider that a boss fight. If you know what you're doing, you can kill the guy real fast and then just be like, boop, and take the puppy out. I just changed a little bit. We got some of these guys down here. Um, and then following up on that, you got, uh, what's his name? You got Freed. Which, Freed is just ass. Let's be honest. Freed is ass. You gotta, you're fighting Freed, and then you think you beat Freed, and then she gets all angry, and she calls her daddy, and her dad helps her fight. And then, as if that's not enough, then she gets angry and goes in with dad power. A three-phase boss, three boss fight. Three phases! I mean, who has time for three phases? Oh, shit. Grab me right through my poise. Stop this. I don't want your frosty breath. Ow. Very rude. Is that all of them? No. Nope. A lot of shit here. I need a faster weapon. Yeah, bam, ba, da, bam, bam. Yeah, look at that, pulling out a new weapon. Ooh, fancy now. Which I do want to test this thing out. This has a. Uh, it says that tranquil walk a piece. I want to see if it works on regular guys. Let's see. No, I don't think it does. You're moving pretty fucking fast. That was a, a decision that I'm regretting. You know, I 
regret I took any time to level you up. You're just not for me. Let's go back to this guy. Do you want to die, Big Wolf? I can kill you right now, if that is what you want. It's a little baby Sif. Little baby Sif. Just murdered the poor thing. Uh, I guess let's go up this way. I mean, this place, I think part of it's the snow. You know, it makes me think of uh, what's that shitty DLC in Dark Souls 2. Like, the only thing that was good about it was the, the boss, the like crazy king boss. The rest of it was just ass. Now, so far, this place feels very, um, very untouched, unchanged. I think this was this was around the drop down point. And if you like approach from behind, you end up over there. All right, let's work our way around, I guess. Well, anyway, instead of gloating about how I don't like this place, let's talk about Neo 2 because boy, oh boy, am I hyped! So first off, I think one of the things I am most excited for is, ladies and gentlemen, finally, finally. We have a dedicated Omeo weapon. <clears throat> now, for those that aren't familiar with the amazing thing that is Neo, in Neo, weapons have different scaling types. Katana is the scale of heart, which would boost your key. Um, you would have uh, spears with scale with body, which was like the main stat for your strength. Something like an axe or a dachi would, uh, or excuse me, no, body, body was health. Uh, axe or a dachi would scale with strength. You know, beefy boy weapons, which of course would go along with with a weight equipment. And each of these stats, not only would they they help your weapon, but each of them had a secondary purpose. Now, like you could get health from leveling anything, very very small amounts, but body would help to boost your health up. Going for key or a heart would help to boost up your total amount of key. Going for strength uh, would help to boost up your equipment load, and so. You know, it was it was a really nice level up system where it was like, oh, you know, I think I want, you know, I want to wear beefy boy armor, so I'm gonna go strength, and then, um, you know, I want to use this X weapon, so you pick up that weapon and call it a day. So anyway, um, when it came to ninjutsu, we had the kusari gama, which fantastic weapon, absolutely clapped all of the cheeks. Those of you that watched the original Neo Let's Play. Uh, that is what I used for almost the entirety of it. Just Kusari gaming my way past everything. Total badass weapon. However, Omyo, which is magic in that game, never had a dedicated... Um, it just didn't have a dedicated weapon. There were... There was like a specific sword you could craft that had a scaling magic. So it could kind of... Or there were like dual blades. Thing. They had a scaling, so you could use that with Omyo. Um, I want to say there was like... a couple other one-offs that also had that scaling but the point was there wasn't just a weapon type there wasn't like a oh you really want to use you know for example if you really want to use katanas oh yeah just level level key if you level key you'll just absolutely obliterate with katanas there was no one weapon that scaled with omeo so when you did omeo you very much had to you know just kind of pick a weapon that worked with your secondary stats um I mean, in Dark Souls terms, it would be like, it would be like you wanted to run a strength build, but there weren't any strength weapons, so instead you just went with a quality weapon, you know? And it's like, it still has some strength scaling, and you'll still do some damage, but it's not, it's not made for you, you know? And that's how Omeo felt in all of Neo. It just felt like, like a second like the stepchild that got forgotten it was like no sorry you don't you know, there's nothing really for for omeo sucks to be you and we finally have an omeo weapon with neo 2 and it's the switchglaive 
The Switchglaive is super badass. The way to describe it is so in, in high stance, it becomes a fucking scythe. Which, as edgy as it is, let's be honest, scythes in, in games like this, it, they're just badass, you know? They're badass. And when it is in its, um, its low stance and its mid stance, it's a glaive. Very much like a uh, Papa Wan Yu style glaive. Or like a uh, uh, Black Dragon Halberd, a glaive like that. So you're like swinging around this glaive thing and then you go into high stance, which you use to usually break key and do like really high amounts of posture damage. And you flip this fucker up into a scythe. And it's just, not only is it a satisfying, very entertaining weapon to use, from what I got to mess around with in the uh, the betas, it also is freaking uh, Omeo. So it's like, you know, I finally get a weapon for my concerns with Omeo, and on top of that, it's a badass weapon. So, I'm very excited to work more with it. Besides that, um, I also, I really like the new dual hatchets they added. They're skill based so same vein as uh, as dual swords and they're actually very similar to dual swords i guess the biggest difference between the swords and the hatchets the hatchets they they have a lot of built-in range damage type stuff which is pretty cool like you can uh, basically just throw the hatchets at people and let's be honest who doesn't like throwing hatchets so i know skill skill will probably uh, go pretty well with omeo so i may do a uh a switch glaive hatchet type build. Use the hatchets for when I need something nice and quick and fast and otherwise work with the uh, the switch glaive is my main go-to. Yeah, for those that, that missed me saying it the numerous times before, the first run is going to be Omeo because I am a complete nerd and very excited to work with the uh, the new switch glaive. Um, as for the walkthrough, that's, that's up in the air. I might just do, for the walkthrough, I'll probably recommend uh, dual swords or katana. I think dual swords, uh, just as a rule of thumb, dual swords are an incredibly safe yet potent choice in Neo. I'm very comfortable with them. My most powerful build uh, and all the time I spent playing Neo was made with dual swords. That would also allow me to work in hatchets, which I think are going to have uh, some pretty good cheese potential, which obviously anything that relates to cheese is great in a walkthrough. So we'll probably do the walkthrough dual swords hatchets. Oh god, am I gonna... Nope. Damn it. Fuck you, Dark Souls. This is why I go back to Neo. Neo doesn't fuck me over like that. Neo loves me gently. Hmm. Now let's mix up our weapon, just because why the fuck not? Stop. Stop talking. No one wants to listen to you talk. Um, do I want you to oh, no. 80.5. God, it's such a thick boy weapon. 73.2. Alright, now it's out. And maybe I'll just start, um, just start pulling out, out different weapons. Just to make, uh, some of these places more entertaining. still matches looks good all right so anyway um back to what i was saying though probably make the walkthrough skill based for the stunning blades and hatchets probably make the first run of the game uh, magic as for the walkthrough prep i'm not sure maybe i'll do ninjutsu just because like once you once you play melee like once you get a feel for how melee works in the game you know it's it's very much you know run with whatever weapon you want you're gonna get you're gonna get similar results running melee builds, just in general. That's how Neo is. You know, some weapons are are better at crowd control, some are better at punching people in a corner. Um, but I feel like weapon builds. Each weapon does have a very unique identity. But despite that, a weapon build is a weapon build. Stupid wolf. Um, Whereas Omeo and Ninjutsu builds, they play drastically different. I mean, my whole first run was a Ninjutsu build, and that was hilarious, man. Remember, all right, this was long before they nerfed Neo, but we, uh, we had that uh, a throwing knife 
kunai base build. And we are up against uh, It. We were up against, I think it was the centipede guy, which was a very hard boss. And instead of like struggling at all, we just straight murdered him instantly with kunai. I think it was centipede. There were a couple bosses we did that with, but I think it was centipede where I like stacked up my buffs and I was just like, do, 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 do. Just a shit ton of throwing knives tossed on out and dead boss 20 seconds later. So anyway, I'm very excited for Neo. I'm also pretty excited for Ori. Um, I didn't have a lot of time with Ori, but the time I spent uh, playing the playing Ori in the Blind Forest was really enjoyable. So I think Will the Wisp is going to be an equally enjoyable experience. All right, come and get it, you big nerd. Oh God. This is why I hate this DLC. This DLC is just like a bundle of assholes. Like big stinky assholes. Not like that fresh booty. Nah, this is some of that stank booty. Even though that ledge collapses, I was far enough to fall onto the secondary ledge. And only the first ledge had a pound of snow. Ugh. I also think part of it is the invasions here were never fun. I think mean, that might be another reason I dislike this place. Because after I beat an area, I was always like, ah, oh, let's, let's do PvP. PvP is part of what made Dark Souls so enjoyable. And, I mean, I feel like universally the PvP in Ariandel was just ass. Because the zones were, like, so big and open. Like, you would literally wander around for 10 to 15 minutes just trying to fucking find the guy. And it's like, dude, like, I just, I just want to fight. Like, where, like, I think more often than not, I ended up just, you know, leaving a zone, like, just warping out, simply because I couldn't fucking find the host. Because this place, it, not only is it, like, super expansive like that, but it's just, like, one continuous track. You know, there really isn't a, um, it doesn't break up at all. So when you're, when you're going through it, What the fuck? Did they did they patch this? Is this a bug now? Do you just always die from that fall? This is seriously fucking annoying. Like I was even slow to damn it. Fucking cat ring. It's probably not gonna matter. I'm probably still gonna die. Anyway, moral of the story is Ariandel sucks balls. It's boring. Has a terrible layout that does not facilitate PvP. Everything has this same snowy shithole look. And I want to go to the Drake Heap. We're gonna we're gonna trigger the avalanche and then back up. So I'm thinking maybe they I don't see why the modder would, would fuck with that fall, you know, that doesn't make any sense. It's a really weird, weird thing to mess with. Though there's some things he messed with. I noticed he messed with Fugs. The model for Fugs seems to have changed. I think it has at least. It looks uh, a lot more just like a hunk of metal. It doesn't look like a sword at all. Maybe that was just the change between Dark Souls 2 and 3, and I don't remember it, how it used to look, but... Looked almost identical to this, just thicker.
Good time I didn't die. That's only thanks to the ring I had. Oh, all that work for some fucking pine resin. Is there usually an invasion that happens, like, right here? Yeah, so far this place doesn't feel very changed. It's just, you know, same bonfires. I think there's there were a couple extra enemies. Maybe I'm imagining it. Try running across. Well, that would be funny if that thing attacks the bridge and makes it fall. I'm gonna beat his ass now. Actually, that's right, you can't. He just leaves. Why, you miserable? You're nothing. Without a belt, you your way. Who the fuck are you? Look that ninja just did a bajillion damage to me. Cursed ring of evasion. Curses, but makes you invisible, I guess. Lose the stamina cost. Where is cursed? fight you soon enough. Fat now? Why am I fat? No. Oh, that's why I'm fat. Ariando. Ariando. You know, as soon as you come here, like, before you're even here, the first time you talk to Gale, and Gale's just sitting there, like, praying. Please, somebody come to Ariandel. That's all you had to see to know that this place was gonna suck. You never see people praying, like, please. Please come visit us in the Bahamas. Or, please, please come to Japan. Like, nah. People want to visit those places. No one wants to come here. That's why it sucks. Got all these guys. We're gonna go down first just to mix it up.
Oh, I should have seen that coming. Well, let's go on and wrap this one up. This area has a... Uh, there's, there's a lot of bullshit here. Um, we'll deal with going down and we'll fight the... Uh, fight the boss that's below in the next part, though. So, stay tuned. I'll see you guys then with more.